Good morning guys. Look what I've got done. So I got uh, those, uh, as I said, those uh, these four panel mounted up, standing up like this. Um, it was definitely not easy trying to do this by yourself. <laughs> I figured out that the R way because, um, uh, first of all, they're standing vertically. So it was extremely hard for one person to, uh, to do the uh, clamping style. Because it keeps sliding down and then, um, of course, you know, in the middle, I just went with a bolt and a washer in the middle. So it was extremely hard to put both of them, you know, together and then trying to bolt them down and have them all level and stuff like that. So anyway, I got it done. So like I said, just two rail, one on, um, two unistruck, one on the top and then uh, one on the bottom going across. And currently I still have the wires a mess. Just gonna test it out for a few days and uh, see how good it worked out. And then uh, start doing the conduit and stuff like that. Oh, they are so clean. And they look pretty good too. I, I actually like the, the, you know, they look better now. Because they kind of cover up the whole wall. And I think in the summer, I'm going to get a little bit benefit from them because they'll cover the side of this house because this house gets hit with the, with the, with the sun uh, in the summertime. And it, with these four panels covering up the house, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help it cool the house uh, a little bit better, uh, or hopefully. Um, so, like I said, it's kind of cloudy today and it's only 8 a.m. in the morning, so we're not producing much. So, let's see, let's go inside. And currently, I just put in this midnight kit right under the um, midnight 150. Um, so I got this kit. Just gonna put it in and test it out, see you know how much I got. So I may just bite the bullets and get another midnight 150 and just put it down here, just because this thing doesn't fit too well, <laughs> or it doesn't fit onto my uh, my wall here. So. Um, Maybe I just have to light the bowl and get another um, midnight 150. The other thing is that this one's not; it can't communicate with the with the other midnight. So um, that's another the cons there. So if I get another midnight 150, I can sync them together, and then you know I can monitor both system uh, through my tablets and stuff like that because it got an Ethernet port. Um, the the midnight kit doesn't have an, any uh, communication on it, so it's kind of uh, see so right now it's just doing uh, 17 watts for four panel which is pretty ridiculous but uh, but the sun is, is you know barely coming up um, here from uh, from the east so uh, the panel is facing south directly south right now so that's why it's not getting much but it'll pick up in about an hour or two and then by noon time it should hit uh, hit the peak times and hopefully it's gonna pick up I'll see how much uh, I get out of it but uh, with the other two 600 watts panels, um, the other two 300 watts panels uh, equal out to be 600. If I tie that into my midnight, um, if I tie that to the midnight 150 like before, um, I was only getting an extra of about 200 watts out of the rated 600. Um, and then I was only getting about maybe 1.7 to two kilowatts. Um, uh, addition to my big array so it wasn't doing much um, so I'm hoping to see that if I can get um, maybe 40 30 or 40 percent increase in production if I go with a separate charge controller and then with the split um, design panel I'm hoping to get a, a little bit more power but we'll, we'll see if my theory worked out um, if I'm seeing anything between I don't know four kilowatts here uh, four to five kilowatts here a day then on a good day then I think it's definitely a good improvement or a good upgrade uh, if I don't see that number then then it's not because what I have on here right now it's actually four panels four of 280 watts panels I, sh I should see an increase of at least um, you know 
50% uh, because of the doubling in the panels and then probably another 20% over that uh, with the with the split panels um, uh, design so that's just a, a hope but we'll, we'll see all right and the next video I'm hoping um, when I make the next video I'll have all of these uh, wired clean up um, all onto uh, it's uh, ducked and everything so uh, my next thing plan um, I'm hoping to do is to get rid of this first sub panels um, and then combine and then just um, move all of these wires um, down to my uh, second main sub panel that I put in uh, when I put in the Connex XW I'm hoping to move this sub panels over there and then clear up this space here because right now I have two sub panel which you know run on the same inverter which is kind of uh, not needed but uh, you know I, I, I was I've been lazy not to climb up into the attic and then reroute uh, like three three uh, three or four circuit breakers here over to that main breakers over there because the other sub panels still have a lot of space and that's really should be over there well, hopefully the next video will have everything clean up, um, but that could be another month because I still have the other project at the other house with the other inverters, the reliable one to, uh, to put in, so lots of work. Thanks for watching, guys.